So recently I did a two hour review video testing every single AI writer out there to find out which one was the best for SEO and blogging. Now, if you wanna watch the full two hour video, I'll leave it in the link below in the description. It's this video here and I review over 35 different AI writers, testing them for things like readability, ease of use, SEO scores in a data back driven experiment. The best of those writers were really, really good and the places were really, really close. Now with Claude's recent, 3.7 Sonnet update is the king of SEO content writing back on top of his perch. Today we're going to be testing out Claude 3.7 Sonnet versus the best AI writer I found out there, Journalist AI, which finished first of the experiment. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you my full blog writing process for using Claude, including system prompts, generating outlines, and of course the blog post itself. We're gonna be testing out the SEO scores and readability inside an independent platform called Neuron Writer, which will give it an SEO score grade. And we're all gonna put it, Claude up against Journalist AI, my favorite AI writer, to see which one really is the best, okay? So cracking videos today, guys. As always, if you want all the prompts from today's video, sign up to the newsletter below in the description. Also do check out the big, long two hour video don't have to watch all of it, of course, but it'll give you a great idea into the lay of the landscape in terms of AI writers out there. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so just in the interest of fairness, I'm going to be using uh, the three plan for Claude. You get some limited uh, uses of 3.7 Sonnet. Obviously, if you have the pro plan, um, you get a lot more usage out of it. I just simply need to uh, renew my subscription as I've been away for a while and I let it expire, okay? As we can see here, we've got Claude 3.7 Sonnet here. And I'm going to go through, first of all, my uh, Claude blog writing process. So we're going to break this down into three different stages, okay? We don't just simply want to give Claude a keyword and ask it to write a blog post, blah, 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 blah. Okay, the output is going to be not very good and you probably won't want to use that on your website, certainly not for a client side. So I'm going to take you through the three-step process here now with um, with Claude 3.7 Sonnet. Okay, so first of all, we want to give Claude a system prompt. Now what a system prompt is, is essentially we're giving the Claude engine itself context. Who are you? What's your goal? What are you going to be doing? Okay, so the system prompt, we're going to say you're a seasoned SEO blog post writer with a proven track record of creating compelling, interesting content that people love to read. Okay, this is really important now, guys, because we no longer just create content for search engines like we have been doing for, I don't know how many years now, we want to create it for humans, okay? So we will create content that will always rank other websites, okay? Cheeky cheeky. Now the goal is to write a detailed human readable SEO optimized blog post that ranks well on search engines and provides genuine value to the reader, okay? So this is our system prompt. So we're going to give that to Claude first and hopefully it's going to acknowledge this, recognize this, and then come back with some additional questions. So let's take a look. We see now Claude going through this. I'd be happy to help you to create compelling content. So we can see here the acknowledgement is understood what we've said. And now it's asking me for some additional information. The main topic of our blog post, primary, secondary keywords, target audience, specific sections, preferred word count or length, or any competitors give it more context. Okay. So this is really, really helpful. Okay. So Claude has understood the assignment. And as long as we give it all or most of these, we're probably going to get something really good back. Okay. So stage two, after system prompt, we want to generate an outline, okay? So we never want to just go ahead and create a blog post, you know, from a little bit of information or from a system prompt. What we want to do, there's a step in between to get the best possible output. We wanted it to create an outline. And that way we can see, you know, what the title is going to be, what the intro is going to be, what our H2s and H3s are going to be, what topics are we going to be talking about inside the blog posts? Are they all relevant? Do we definitely want to talk about them? And this is really important because we want to see what is already ranking in the search engines and we want to take inspiration from that. At the end of the day, if the top five results for our keyword are all speaking about a specific topic, we obviously want to talk about that too. And this is why we do the outlines first. So we want to say your first task is to write a structured and comprehensive blog post outline for an article about. So I did green tea before. We're not going to do that again. Um, we'll um, we'll go with how to change a tire on a Toyota Corolla. OK, so I just um, randomly picked a long tail keyword suggested to me uh, by Google. Um, fairly easy to rank for keyword. I think a lot of the top results were like YouTube videos and stuff, but um, we want to change that here. So. There we go. How to change the tire on a Toyota Corolla. Okay, so this is the keyword that we're going to be wanting to rank for with both Claude and with our AI writer of choice. Okay, 
Now, guidelines, keep, and basically this is just SEO best practices, okay? Uh, keep in mind the target keyword we're trying to rank for, so include it in variations. Define the purpose of the article. That's important because when someone starts to read it, they want to know what they're going to learn and what they're going to get out of it. And you want to do that very quickly. Structure the blog with a clear intro, body, conclusion. Break the body into logical sections using H2 subheadings, variations of the primary keyword, add H3 subheadings, and include a frequently asked questions section at the end based on common questions, okay? So that is the basis of our outline prompt. And we also want to add in, so I don't see many people do this. I've spoken about this before, okay? When you're doing this manual type of prompt in here and you're not using like automatic AI writers, you want to be putting heavy emphasis on keyword LSIs and entities, okay? So these are all the green tea ones I had before. So I'm going to use um, Neuron Writer, which is a content optimization tool. I don't use it for uh, AI writing itself because it's not that great at it, but it's a great optimizer. And for this keyword, it's already given me, it's analyzed the SERPs, what's already ranking, and has given me a list list of LSIs and entities and including a uh, suggested number of uses and frequency. And what we can do is we can simply copy a list of visible terms or terms of suggested uses, and we can put that into our prompt, okay? So I'm gonna paste this here. And as we can see, um, it's giving us our list, a rather lengthy list. I wanna make sure I don't um, include the green tea ones too, including title terms, uh, description terms, uh, headers, h 2 histories, etc. Okay, so this is going to be part of our outline prompt. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm going to make be careful not to include the, uh, the green tea ones. Da, 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 da. There we go. Okay, so paste this into Claude, and this is going to answer all these questions and hopefully give us a really nice outline. So then we can actually generate a blog post from that outline. Okay, so I'm going to do that with Claude. Okay, so we can see what Claude is coming up with here now for our blog post outline. So it suggested a title for us, uh, the purpose of the article. So again, that's very important to have that, you know, what they're gonna learn uh, at the beginning, our H1, our intro, H2, H3s, H2, H3s, etc. So we can see every single topic that it's gonna be covering. Uh, really, really nice. And, you know, if you wanna remove something, add something extra in, it gives us a really uh, starting point to edit before we actually generate the article, right? We wanna make sure that everything in here is exactly how we want it, um, that's all relevant, etc. cetera. Um, FAQ, and then conclusion at the end, meta title and meta description. So it's come up with, following SEO best practices, a really nice uh, headline here, okay? So we're gonna go back to um, our prompts, and now we're gonna do the actual blog post prompt itself, okay? So basically from that outline, Using the outline generated, please write an informative and engaging SEO on most blog post that ranks well in search engines. Okay, start with a compelling introduction that hooks the reader within the first few sentences. Clearly state what they will learn. Okay, absolutely paramount. And then SEO best practices for actually generating a blog post. Use short paragraphs, three to four sentences, short sentences under 20 words to improve readability. Ensure each section flows logically. Integrate keywords naturally into headings, etc. Write using a simple e suite markdown format style. Verify uh, paragraphs are scannable, ninth grade readable level, meta tags, meta descriptions, etc. And keyword density to ensure there's no keyword stuff in or anything like that. Okay. Aim for a final count of around two and a half thousand words. Sometimes it doesn't stick to this, but it's good to give it um, an idea, right? So it doesn't go crazy. So we're going to use this then. So this is just a follow-up, you know, from our uh, outline post, okay? So we started off with the system um, prompt post to give it context. Then we say, okay, generate an outline according to this keyword. Now we generate a blog post from that outline, step by step by step. This is the best way to do it, guys. Don't just simply go and try and do everything in one prompt. It just won't work, all right? It won't work very well. Bang, okay. And we'll see what Claude comes up with now for this blog post. It should write it very, very closely matching or almost identical to the outline. We can see here, title, intro. By the end of this article, you know exactly what you need. It's exactly what we asked for it in the outline. And then all the different um, topics, H2s, H3s, etc. Still right now, and then hopefully it'll give us an FAQ and a conclusion at the end, okay? So this is how, you know, best practices to using Claude um, it really is, in my opinion, uh, su far superior to ChatGPT when it comes to uh, written content, especially SEO blog posts, for sure. So we'll just wait for this now to load, and then we'll check this for SEO score inside Neuron Writer and see what it comes up with. Okay, so 61, very respectable uh, score to start off with, okay? And we can see here the suggestions that Neuron Writer is coming up with, okay? Uh, we've got um, not enough of some um, uh, keywords, 
too many of other ones, okay? And we can basically optimize our article yeah, using the suggestions here in Neuron Writer, okay? Uh, headings, article, and then of course entities as well, okay? And we can also um, work on our outline and um, obviously go to take a look at the uh, questions we can have. We can add those in. Really, really good um, content optimizer, guys, is Neuron Writer. But 61 out of the bat without any editing at all is a very good starting point. And we could easily get this to 70 plus with just a minor piece of editing, okay? But I just want to show you, you know, exactly that you can get something uh, decent, really, really decent straight out of the box, okay? So given that, um, you know, we, we went through a three-step process, for example, uh, system prompts, um, we did the outline prompt and we did the blog post prompt, and then obviously we used some um, external uh, keyword help, uh, size and entities from another tool, um, Neuron Writer. How does that compare to one of the best AI writers out there? Okay, so this is Journalist AI. It's an AI writer I'm involved with. I reviewed, like I say, 35 different AI writers. This was number one to me, although there was a few other really good ones as well. So there's definitely strong competition out there. This is, in my opinion, the best auto blogger out there and it has a ton more kind of like automatic SEO features, okay? So the reason I recommend using a platform like this over Claude or over ChatGPT is the fact that things just happen uh, behind the scenes like magic there's no need to come up with prompts yourself do additional prompting uh, you can actually use the ai here to edit the articles as well okay so i just want to give you a run through really the platform and then i'll test it inside neuron writer as a comparison versus claude so we can see it can generate seo articles ai news articles amazon product reviews youtube the blog post okay so if i just want to generate an seo article i can simply enter in a keyword here so let's go with um how to change a tire on a uh, toyota corolla oops Let's go back there, that's the keyword. I can put in a title, optional, or I can let the AI come up with it itself. And if we had additional keywords there as well, we can also uh, generate additional articles. So if you wanna you know, create a content silo, let's say 20, 30 articles, uh, all leading back to one page, give it that extra link juice, you can do that very, very easily inside Journalist. We can also import a CSV or an Excel file or a Sheets file with all the different keywords you want to target and then blast out content based on those keywords, okay? So let's go ahead again, how to change time on a Toyota Corolla. I'm just gonna show you how easy this is, okay? So I can actually simply let the AI take care of everything and simply generate the article immediately, okay? And we could do that, and Journalist does a very, very good job of doing that, okay? But we can also set things up from what we call a campaign level. I can use the AI to generate a title. I can also include, again, like we did with Claude on grabbing those LSIs and entities from Neuron Writer. We can just simply do that um, inside Journalist here in one click. We can also generate an outline as well. But for this test, like I say, I want things to be super, super easy because like I say, it does things on autopilot whereas compared to Claude, things happen manually. Um, generate an article outline, we're gonna use the AI to do that without any kind of input from us. We can uh, do different points of views, tone of voice, formalities, uh, we can upload our own knowledge base, which is really useful. Format in structure of the article, do one CTAs, um, conclusions, key takeaways, etc. Now this is absolute money here. So this is something that Claude doesn't do without quite a lot of filling around automatic external and internal linking, okay? So this is a real game changer if you're an SEO, you're a blog writer, you're a content writer. Rather than going away and searching the Google search results for fact-checked, relevant, citated links, you can let the journalist AI engine go out there and find them for you and insert them naturally inside the article, including internal links as well. Images and YouTube videos will add all those in, okay? so. If you just wanted to blast out an article, I didn't have to do anything here. I could just click to generate article, but I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. I'm just gonna go ahead and generate the article like we should have done in the first place, okay? And this literally does take seconds, guys. Sometimes it takes five seconds, sometimes it takes about 30 seconds, but it's really, really good. So let's wait um, for that to do. But I just wanted to show you some other features inside here, which is amazing. And when I said this is an amazing auto block, okay, it really, really is. It's got this uh, awesome feature called feeds, right? This is absolutely mind blowing, okay? So what Feeds does is you simply enter in your competitors' URLs and Feeds actively monitors them. And anytime they start ranking for a keyword, and we can see here, it's um, found the keywords for our competitors, okay? So I added those in inside um, configuration and it's found the keywords that our competitors are now ranking for, including difficulty and volume. And then we can set this feed up to the auto blogging system so that any time a competitor starts ranking for a keyword, journalists will then automatically produce and publish a piece of content targeting that keyword, all right? So guys, that's an 
an absolute game changer okay really awesome feature obviously claude doesn't have that um it's worth the money for journalists for this feature alone okay so you've got site optimizers which is essentially ai agents which automatically scan and update and optimize your site for you time and time again okay it's active it's live okay also automatically indexes your um, articles um you can publish it to many different sources okay it's really 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 awesome okay um it's, it's a complete game changer but let's take a look at um our articles now i just want to compare this to uh, to claude so here we go i'll give you an example of um, how this is going to look and we can see kind of the, the difference in terms of like the output between Claude and Journalist. Okay, so this is what we've got from Claude. And this is what we've got from Journalist. Okay, so we've got how to change a tire um, on a Toyota Crawler like a pro, table of contents there, and then a um, intro, key takeaways, images, which have been generated by the AI, or the H3s, H2s, etc. And look at this automatic external links, key takeaways. All right. Um, we should have more images, more links, more um, more kind of uh, editor's notes, etc. Giving you that EAAT, okay? YouTube videos as well, okay? FAQs, etc. All right. Um, really, 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 really awesome, okay? Um, and for example, if I wanted to edit this with the AI, I can simply highlight this, and I can rewrite this to my heart's content. I can make it longer, simplify it turn this information into a list or a table. I can even add extra additional keywords in there. And this is absolutely money here, guys. In just one click, I can add additional. But if I click on external links here, I can simply add more links in just a single click, okay? Really, really, really awesome. So proof is in the pudding. Let's um, copy and paste this into NeuronWriter. Um, I've got the title there, yeah. Let's go and paste this into new one right down. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we've got 67 straight off the bat. So there's a simple copy and paste, okay? So already very, very good um, SEO score to start off with. We could definitely get that up um, to well into the 70s, probably near 80, which would be amazing. Um, I have had AD scores of A283 straight off the bat uh, with Journalist AI before it really is that good. And like I say, with a very small amount of editing, um, and we can even use um, the journalist AI editor to do that. Um, we could get that really, really awesome, okay? But I hope you can see with all the other different AI SEO features in here, why it's definitely worth using an AI writer such as journalist over using something like Claude. If you just want one article um, and you're not gonna be producing articles regularly and you know you don't want automation and things like that, yeah, Claude is great, right? And in fact, you know, for things like marketing copy, um social media copy stuff like that claude is super 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 but if you're you know if you're serious about blogging uh getting your articles ranked and seo and things like that even if you're an seo yourself you want to present information to clients or work to clients then using something like journalist is really really awesome we can really infuse lead magnets into our content okay a great way to build up your email list and of course um, a really good cta to have um as well okay and of course the blog automation i mean that feeds feature is uh, is mind-blowing all right Cool. So hopefully you can see now the difference between uh, using Claude or like a ChatGPT, which isn't as good as Claude, by the way, to using a top, top AI writer like Journalist AI. Okay. Now, um, if you do want to get try Journalist AI yourself, uh, if you go through my link below, um, don't have to sign up to a plan or anything like that. You just simply get three free articles uh, just simply for entering your email address. Okay. And you can test things out inside the platform and then work out whether or not it's for you in the future. It's completely up to you. If you do decide to upgrade to a plan in the future, you can use my discount code through my link, Steve, and uh, you get a discount then on the monthly plan. Um, also, if you wanted to, uh, the prompts from today's video, make sure you sign up for the Next Gen AI newsletter below. Uh, there's an issue going on today, so you get everything there uh, to access. And um, if you want some uh, mine and Vasco's training courses on AI SEO as well, I'll leave, and they're completely for free, I'll leave the links below in the description for them too. But hopefully you enjoyed this comparison video, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much.